What exactly has he shown you? Where has Adam Gase shown you that you should have this kind of confidence with him running your organization? Other than the meeting you had with him, other than the phone call that you took from Peyton Manning before you hired him, he didn't have time to learn from his mistakes down in Miami with the Dolphins before he stepped in and became the Jets head coach. The offense last year was dreadful. They were one of the worst in the National Football League in terms of production. The game planning at times was strange, quizzical. I mean, it was awful. The Cincinnati Bengal game. What exactly was the game plan on Sunday against the Buffalo Bills offensively? What exactly is the identity of the Jets? You can say, all right, Gase is a genius. Well, if you're an offensive genius, then I should know what defines Adam Gase offensive football. I should know it, right? I know what I know what Bill Walsh West Coast offense football is about. I know what Andy Reid's football, what he likes to do offensively. I like I know what Mike Holmgren like to do offensively. There are other guys I like. I, Josh McDaniel has been able to. He's a bad head coach, good offensive coordinator, adjust to the talent, whether it be instituting the tight end and and then the NFL with Aaron Hernandez and Rob Gronkowski. Uh, up in New England, I get an idea of what the Patriots like to do offensively, and they're different than everybody else because they adapt and adjust their game plan based on the opponent that they go up against, but that's Patriot offensive football. What the hell does Adam Gase do offensively? Where is the genius? I'd like to see it. You know, I tweeted out during the game last week against the Bills last Sunday. I'm still waiting for the genius of Adam Gase. Where is it? I mean, if he is that great of a mind, listen, Sean McVay stepped in to Los Angeles with the Rams. They were blown away by the interview. McVay was a well-thought-of assistant coach on that Washington staff for years. Well-thought-of. Stepped in there, changed exactly everything that the Rams did offensively, and made Goff a franchise quarterback. What has Adam Gase done? If you're a genius, I should know what you're a genius about. If you're going to tell me you're a genius about offense, well, I want to ask you, What exactly is an Adam Gase-led offense? What defines Adam Gase as an offensive mind? There's nothing. Yeah, and and, and the proof is what you see on Sundays. They're terrible. And and you just even go back through some of Gase's history, right? So you put Peyton Manning aside because it's Peyton Manning, right? Jay Cutler, what's the reputation of Jay Cutler? A career underachiever? To be honest, Jay Cutler, amazing arm talent and never had, you know, did – I don't think anyone looks back and is like, man, I want a career like Jay Cutler's career. That's no, what I'm he, striving right, for. I agree with you, Maggie, but he gets credit because Cutler was kind of like the lost cause, right? I uh, Fine. Okay. And, and but so it, you also like, didn't oh turn him into an MVP. What, no, I get it. But it's like, oh, my God, he got actually something out of Jay Cutler in Chicago because everyone looked at Jay Cutler as being a guy that nobody could get anything out of because he's not a, he's not a self-motivator. He's not a highly motivated quarterback, and he's got great arm talent, but still – the decision making on the field, so they're going to say, "Wow, look at what Gase did with Cutler in Chicago. He's almost totally a miracle di- worker." Totally different quarterback and a completely different part of his career than Sam Darnold. First of all, so it's not even an apples to apples comparison. And then what's the other big quarterback that he worked with, Ryan Tannehill, who has really only resurrected his reputation by going to Tennessee? I mean, the, the, I think most people left Tannehill for dead. He he came in as Marcus Mariota's backup and then had to beat him out for the job and then got paid, and now we'll see if the Titans are a playoff team. I mean, it's it's where is actually this great proof? It's not just what's happening with the Jets, and you can maybe explain it away. I mean, I just don't even really see the breadcrumbs that led to this. Like, is this guy even getting by on reputation? From what? From what? Maggie, it's frustrating. I get. Listen, Chris Johnson hired him. He, he was wowed by the Peyton Manning call. I understand he's got to show support for his head coach, but stop you throwing the word genius. You're insulting geniuses around the country <laughs> and around the world by calling Adam Gase a genius. You just are. Because if Adam Gase is a genius... We said brilliant offensive mind, but yes. I mean, it, it, right, I mean, whatever. But you know what I mean. I mean. He is not a brilliant offensive mind. If he is... Brilliant and Adam Gase as an offensive mind should not go hand in hand. The Jet offense has been brutal. Yeah, we just, we just haven't seen it. 877-337-6666. Jets fans, I can't what wait. do you think? I'll, w- I'll be waiting. If I hold my breath and wait, I'll be dead. Well, the, the, the worst part, though, is that it's the worse he does, the worse that it is for Sam Darnold. The, this is no good. I mean, Sam has to help, help himself for sure. But the worst that Gase does, I mean, nobody's rooting for Gase to be bad. Just haven't seen the brilliance. Haven't you seen know- it.
Maggie, you know what it hit me yesterday was uh, reading some of the comments from Johnson as they came in toward the tail end of our show. I said this up. Listen, maybe Maggie's right. Maybe they are tanking. Thank you. But they're not trying to tank. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm it's trying not, to give Douglas a little it's credit not, here. It's not some genius move. It's just the Jets. <laughs> hey. However you get to that number one pick. I'll wait for the for the for the for the book that comes out, you know, five years later. It was yeah. our plan the whole time. Inside Gang Green. The brilliance. The brilliance is the tanking. <laughs>